Hi, I'm Ryan with Premier Communications. Today I will be showing you how to install your DTA or digital transport adapter. I will walk you through each step of the process to ensure you have your DTA installed correctly. Let's begin. Here's the kit you will receive from Premier Communications. Open your kit and make sure you have a digital transport adapter or DTA, coax cable, HDMI cable, power cord, remote control, two AA batteries. Once you have everything out of your box, you can now connect your TV to your DTA. Step one, if there is a coax cable that is currently plugged into the back of your TV and the cable wall outlet, disconnect it. Step two, take the coax cable and insert one end into the cable port on your wall. Connect the other end to the cable in port on the back of your DTA. To secure, gently twist the silver ends of the cable. Step three, you will need to follow this step if you do not have an HDTV. To determine if you have an HDTV, look for a rectangular port marked HDMI. If you do not have an HDMI port, use the coax cable you disconnected in step one. Insert one end into the two TV jack on the back of the DTA box. Place the other end into the cable in or RF in port on the back side of your TV. To secure, gently twist the silver ends of the cable. Step four. If you do have an HDTV, it is not necessary to connect the second coax cable. Instead, connect one end of the HDMI cord to the back of your DTA box in the spot labeled HDMI. Then insert the other end into the HDMI input on the back of your TV. Step five. Plug the small circular end of the power cord into the back of the DTA box labeled power. Take the large end of the power cord and plug it into your wall outlet or surge protector. Step six. Turn your TV on using the main power button on the TV or the remote that came with your TV. Do not use the new remote provided. It has not been programmed to your TV yet. Step seven. If you do not have an HDTV, use the original remote or the buttons located on the TV to tune your TV to channel three. Then, on the back of the DTA box, slide the toggle switch toward channel three. If your DTA is installed correctly, you should see your normal programming resume. If you do not see programming resume, call the 800 number below to reach our gadget helpline. Step eight. If you do have an HDTV, using the original remote, press the input button. Select the HDMI input that the DTA box is connected to. If the DTA is installed correctly, you should be able to view the programming. If you do not see programming resume, call the 800 number below to reach our gadget helpline. Now that the DTA is installed, it's time to program the remote that came with the DTA. This remote will now run your TV. If you have an HD TV, you will still need to use the original remote that came with your TV to change the input settings. Insert the two AA batteries into the remote. Point the remote at the DTA. Press and hold the setup button on the bottom right of the remote until the LED light blinks twice. Press the TV power key, the LED light will remain on. Press and hold down the number code for your TV brand. Let go of the key when your TV turns off. The list of codes can be found in the remote setup instructions included in your kit. If your DTA is not working properly or the remote is not pairing correctly with your TV, you may give our gadget help desk a call at the 800 number below. We would be happy to assist you with any issues that you may have. We hope you enjoy your new digital programming.